July 24, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and six months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 516 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Russia has turned the number four reactor from cold to hot stop condition, bringing the total of reactors in hot stop condition up to two, out of six total. Ukraine advances at Bakhmut, the Kremlin advances at Kamazanivka. Heavy fighting in the Eastern Front. Odessa continues under nearly a week straight of missile strikes. Ukraine has struck more munition depots in Crimea. The Russian army has withdrawn from attempts to retake the Dachas at the Antonivka Bridge. Dnieper Line. Russian mouthpieces have agreed that allowing Ukrainians to retain the islands on the left bank at the Antonivka Bridge is a better choice than continuing to attack into a kill zone. How Ukraine is able to capitalize on the same choke point ridden topography is to be seen. Kremlin forces were able to launch 325 shells or bombs at Kherson over the last day. Zaporizhia Front. Robotine has seen heavy fighting in the last week, with Ukraine clearing minefields and destroying Kremlin outposts in what should be preparation for advances. The general staff of Ukraine's army has reported making attacks as deep as a kilometer into Russian lines in the high grounds west of Mokioli. Ukrainian nuclear power specialists are concerned that the changing condition of fuel rods at Zaporizhia increases the risk of expending a very limited supply of cooling water. East Front, Donetsk. The Kremlin has launched five different attacks in every cardinal direction west of Donetsk. Ukraine is reporting all of them were rebuffed. These defenders have been fighting off some of the most regular and not always the smallest attacks by Moscow's forces and deserve comment for their bravery and skill. Bakhmut area. Ukraine has clarified the line of their, their latest gains at the villages of Klishchivka and Andreevka, showing the gain of another four to six square miles of hard-fought ground in many cases fighting uphill. The Kremlin ordered attacks directly west of the city of Bakhmut, but neither side has reported any line changes. Oskol border front. The least geographically busy area of the northwest front, with each side trading attacks outside of Kamazanivka, leading to the expansion of the contested zones at this location. Northern border. Shelling continues, relatively heavy in the last 24 hours. Putin continues to wound random civilians and children. Black Sea. The Kremlin is attacking facilities along the Danube River. After claiming that all Ukrainian drones were destroyed by air defense, the Kremlin occupation government enacted a five-kilometer evacuation zone around the village and airbase at Volnoy, Crimea due to explosions. Ukraine world-related. An aging two-lane iron bridge for automobiles has suffered a collapse in the Transcarpathian region of western Ukraine, with at least one casualty. U.S. candidate for president, Vice President Mike Pence continues to express support for Ukraine and for sending more aid and arms. Ukrainian pilots don't need to be able to do every mission for which a professional U.S. military pilot might be trained before getting wings. Ukrainian pilots can be effective with training for a few mission types per pilot, with more to be learned after they win. Moscow was awakened to air defense systems this morning, however the source of the concerns is unknown. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.